بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we'll talk about anti-malarial drugs uh, I suggest you to see the uh, previous video about malaria cycle and some important information about malaria before you start anti-malarial drug because it will help you a lot So now we'll start just reviewing about the malaria cycle, life cycle in a simple way uh, then we will um, discuss about the drugs acting in the cycle. First, as we know, <coughs> the mosquito infect the sporozoite. Then the sporozoite goes to the liver. Uh, in the liver, it will uh, um, uh, go to the hepatocyte. Then it will uh, make trophozoite. Then uh, it is resigned. Then this resigned will form merozoite. Then the merozoite will go out of the distract the hepatocyte and go out of it to the uh, circulation to invade the red blood cells to form trophozoite. Uh, then the trophozoite forms a uh, chizoint. Then the chizoint goes to uh, uh, form a merozoite which will distract the red blood cell and go to the circulation to infect another time or another red blood cells. And uh, then um, I do the circulation again so this is previous uh, or um, the previous video I discussed about it in details okay and now we will discuss about the drugs let's move Uh, now the drugs affecting again is gametocyte or gametocyte which here formed after the merozoite uh, go uh, distract the red blood cells and go to the circulation it will cause uh, or it has two fates as we said uh, either to infect another red blood cells or to form gametocyte to um, have it another a female mosquito so which uh, will inhibit or prevent the gametocyte form that means it will inhibit the transmission because we will prevent this one so there is a, there is no mosquito that will have the gametocyte to infect another human so here to prevent the transmission of malarial disease here drugs effective again as x0 uh, erythrocytic form which is in the liver as we said before that uh, the x0 uh, exo erythrocytic form um, uh, which is special to plasmodium ovale and plasmodium vivax these two plasmodiums, uh, they are uh, the mer their merozoite go out of the liver to infect another red blood cells, and also their merozoite goes to make this circulation again inside the liver. So this will make uh, a relapse malaria in uh, the coming years, uh, although without any infection with a mosquito or injection with a mosquito. Um, so the drugs effective against X0 um, uh, exoerythrocytic form and gametocytic form, uh, primaquine, it is very very effective drug, and actually it is the only drug that can inhibit the uh, X0 uh, exoerythrocytic form and inhibit the plasmodium ovale and plasmodium vivax to f to form another merozoite to infect another hepatocyte. So this is very effective and very important for everyone infected with, uh, with uh, uh, plasmodium ovale and plasmodium vivax to have this drug. Uh, so now we will discuss the most important drug which is uh, drugs effective against erythrocytic form. So here in the circulation. So what will happen? It will block the transformation from trophozoite to schizoint. The drugs are artemisinin. A chloroquine, quinine, mifloquine, uh, pyrimethamine. I will discuss uh, about the most important drug and used uh, nowadays. So now, before beginning uh, of any uh, treatment, you have or uh, you must understand two concepts. The first concept is geographical pattern of susceptibility to 
plasmodium falciparum to anti-malaria drugs. As we discussed before that, that uh, the plasmodium falciparum usually are resistant of chloroquine. So before that, if it's if it's sensitive, so if the plasmodium falciparum is sensitive to chloroquine, we will start quickly the treatment with the chloroquine. The another thing uh, that we uh, must understand is the type of plasmodium species causing the infection. As we said here, that plasmodium ovale and plasmodium vivax are the only uh, species that cause the uh, exurethrocytic form again in the liver. So we must understand if it's uh, uh, plasmodium falciparum, uh, so we know that it is usually resistant or plasmodium uh, vivax or ovale that are uh, hypnozoid or another uh, species like uh, plasmodium malaria and nolsi. So first you should start by chloroquine. The chloroquine is the most useful drug for the malaria for all species uh, actually this is for a long time but nowadays or before 20 years uh, there's a development of resistant to this drug and this is a very 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 big problem uh, especially resistant are uh, developed by plasmodium falciparum so now just we review the uh, the uh, previous table we uh, reviewed in the last lecture in the malaria cycle, life cycle. Uh, just we will uh, focus on hypnozoid and chloroquine sensitivity. Hypnozoid, as we said before, that hypnozoid will will affect the mer the merzoid will affect the liver uh, again and again and again. That will cause um, an infection or relapse malaria after many years. So. Plasmodium falciparum don't have this uh, this um, uh, this character, and plasmodium vivax and ovale, yeah, they have it. Uh, while malaria and nolacy, they don't have it. So a hypnozoid, there is a special drug for it, as we said before, that prime queen that um, inhibit the hypnozoid formation in the liver, so it will cause radical cure of the hypnozoid. Our causal therapy, yeah. Our chloroquine sensitivity, as we said that before, plasmodium falciparum, usually it is resistant, while other species are sensitive, which is a very good thing, and they have a good, very good prognosis. So let's start by falciparum uh, treatment. We have to uh, understand the geographical pattern of susceptibility of falciparum to chloroquine. Uh, now the uh, let's start by sensitiv sensitivity. Uh, the areas or the countries that are sensitive to chloroquine, which is a very good thing, uh, uh, the, that that are the Central American North of uh, Panama Canal which is located here actually the uh, blue ones are sensitive and the gray ones are resistant and unfortunately uh, the uh, most of the countries are resistant as you see in the gray so Central uh, American North you have to to know it is north uh, because here in the resistant it is south um, the other uh, country is Hispanola, uh, which is located here. It is blue also. And here, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and uh, most of these countries are chloroquine sensitive drugs. Now we're moving to the resistant. Um, Plasmodium falciparum to chloroquine. Most of Africa, as we see here, most of it uh, colored by gray, which is resistant. Also, Central America, south of Panama Canal, uh, which is located here. And South America, here. And uh, India, here. And South Asia, uh, Southeast Asia, as we said here. They are all by gray. They are all resistant. 
So what did we? Uh, what should we do uh, if the plasmodium falciparum is resistant? As we know, if it's sensitive, so give it chloroquine quickly. If it is resistant, you have to give another uh, drug to treat. So. If the resistance occurs, first we have uh, two choices. If the uh, infection is uncomplicated, so it is mild, so just we start to be giving ACT. What is ACT? ACT is artemisinin-based combination therapies, which are uh, an um, drug which called artemether. It, this is very, very effective, and it is new uh, drug. This is very effective uh, among uh, almost all species of malaria. So artemether uh, combined with uh, these drugs. And this one, and this one. Actually, this one is not used nowadays. So let's go back. So uncomplicated, just give ACT, one of these three combinations. Uh, if it's complicated, and how can we uh, know if it's complicated or not by the symptoms? If it's um, if it uh, includes the uh, malaria encephalopathy, so it is very very uh, complicated. We give a uh, 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 therapy um, quickly and is by IV. So if it's complicated, we give first thing is artesunate by IV for twenty four hours for one day. After that, follow it by one of these. So, uh, the first thing is to give artinson weight for one day, IV, then followed by ACT, as we discussed here, artimeter, um, uh, artimeter with uh, luma, uh, lumifantrin and uh, amodequine and sulfadoxin pyrimethrin. Um, or to give artimeter plus clindamycin or doxycycline or to give quinine plus clindamycin uh, or doxycycline quinine actually is very effective also and it is uh, very effective if it's resistant to chloroquine quinine also have another brother which is called quinidine which is antiarrhythmic drug, and we can use it also for the anti-malaria drug. So now we are finished from the treatment of falciparum. Now moving to plasmodium ovale and plasmodium vivax treatment. As we said before, that plasmodium ovale and vivax has a special thing or special character that it has hypnozoid. which will infect the liver again and again and participate in relapsing malaria after many years. Uh, so just a first thing is erythrocytic. And exo-erythrocytic. Let's move to the diagram that we discussed about it to make the pictures clear more um, here as we said the exero erythrocytic let's change the color okay the exero erythrocytic form which is in the liver we use a prime queen which uh, we said before it is very very effective and it is the only drug that can um, um, inhibit this uh, cycle in the liver so inhibit the malaria and radical curve malaria uh, to um, uh, to, to prevent the relapsing malaria after many years uh, this is for the exoerythrocytic form for the erythrocytic form phase we can use either uh, one of these drugs mostly they use chloroquine if it is sensitive because because it is the least uh, adverse effect Actually, artemisinin is very, very good and very effective, um, but the adverse effect or the uh, not, uh, not adverse effect, the disadvantage of it that it, its half time is very, very short. So, uh, 
either we have to uh, inject or uh, give uh, uh, these drugs uh, for multiple times in one day or uh, to give another drug that has uh, a long half time like chloroquine to um, to inhibit this uh, transformation and inhibit malaria disease uh, so the last thing we discussed about it uh, the drug effective against gametocyte form as we said that inhibit the transmission of the disease we used primarily primaquine um, for, all, for all species uh, of the malaria either Plasmodium falciparum or Oveil, Vivax malaria, we use this one to inhibit the transmission of malaria to another humidity. So now we are finishing from the treatment of malaria just to, to revise. As we said, Plasmodium falciparum, it is usually resistant, so we use another drug other than chloroquine to, uh, to treat it if it's resistant. If it's the complicated and complicated case, just to give ICT. If it's complicated, we give artisan weight IV for 24 hours, as we, as we said before, that our artisan weight and artemisin in these drugs has very short half time, so it is very effective in the uh, complicated as a first therapy. Then followed by uh, another drugs that has a uh, long half time to. Um, to control the disease, ACT, artemethrin plus clindamycin or doxycycline. According, give it with clindamycin or doxycycline. Um, as we said, POVIL and BAVAVAX, hypnozoid. So we have to give primaquine. We have to give it um, uh, to the patient. We have to note that uh, high, some drugs are very very contraindicated in case of pregnant. Um, let's change the color. So, pregnant. It's okay to give it chloroquine. There's no um, major risk of to give it, uh, but the primaquine is very, very, very contraindicated in case of um, malaria with a pregnant woman. Um, it is um, the pregnant woman affected by plasmodium ovel and vivex. That's why we give it primaquine or we think to give it. So in case of pregnant affected by plasmodium ovel and vivex, we just give it chloroquine or another drugs that are uh, not contraindicated in case of pregnant. Uh, so uh, when the pregnant um, when the pregnancy uh, period is uh, finished and uh, the lactation period is also finished, we start giving the primaquine to radical curve of the disease or radical curve of the plasmodium in the liver. Um, also, the patients with oh uh, sorry glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency primaquine article is contraindicated in case of them but we have to give it but the uh, when you give it give it in the special doses and give it with monitoring their blood regularly um i think that's it for the anti-malaria and this the most important uh notes that you that you have to note uh thank you very much and hope you the you understand all of the all of these things thank you